Hello there. Welcome to this Design with Excellence series with Emmanuel. Now the Design with Excellence series was put together to help you create your designs with excellence. Now for this episode, we'll be creating the sample of the church flyer we have on our screen here. The first thing we want to do is to select this image that we have here and we'll hit on the delete button to remove it. Next up, we want to head onto the tree dot on the top right corner of our screen and we'll head onto image size. The dimension for this design is 1344 by 960 pixels and we'll click OK. Next up, we want to head on to the plus icon here and we'll import the resources we'll be using for this design from our gallery. Now, if you want to create any form of design, you have to take your time to gather the resources you'll be using first before actually creating that design and ensure you get resources of high quality they will um, help your designs to turn out amazing so the first image you'll be adding here is the image of what we'll be using for the background so we have the image here and we'll bring it onto our design canvas so we have this here and we'll click ok and we'll scale it all the way scale it all the way again and we'll position it over here nicely now that we have this image on our background here, the next thing we want to do is to erase the bottom part of this image so that we remove the sharp edge and we have a nice blend with our background. So we head onto the erase tool here and then we we'll increase the size of our brush and we we'll reduce the hardness and we we'll erase the bottom part of our image this way and we'll check. So now that we have it there nicely, head onto the plus icon and gallery and then we'll have the second image we'll be using for this background and we'll click ok so we'll scale it up this way scale it up and we'll place it somewhere around here so now we want to have a nice blend between these two images so we'll head on to the erase button here and then increase the size of our brush and we'll reduce the hardness and we'll begin to erase it around here we'll just erase it this way and we have it there nicely and we'll click OK so as you can see we have a nice blend between these two images so we'll just position this over here and we'll have it there nicely so we'll head on to the layers panel here and then we we'll want to lock these layers so that we have them in place and they don't move when creating our designs so the next thing we want to do is to add a gradient on this background so we'll head on to the plus icon here and to shapes and we want to change this gradient here from change the color here from white to a gradient color and we'll select this gradient from black to white so now that we have it there we want to apply a color to this gradient so we'll head on to this plus button here select the black color and we want to give this gradient a bluish color so we'll select this blue around here and then bring it all the way here and we'll click on ok now that we have it, we'll select the white part of the gradient, we'll select the color option and we want to drag it all the way to the transparent size because we don't want any color there. So we'll click on OK and click on OK again. So as you can see guys, we have our gradient there. So we want to select this shape and we'll scale it all the way, scale it this way to fit onto our screen. And we'll click OK and we'll position it over here nice and good. So now that we have it there, we're going to make a duplicate by clicking on copy here. And we'll make a copy and we have another copy on top. So we'll just position this copy here nicely. I want the image on our background to show a little bit, so we'll leave it around there. So we have it there nicely and We'll also make another copy there. But this time around, we're going to rotate this copy. So we'll select the rotate option here. And we're going to rotate this so that we have the transparent side upward. And we have the other side downward. So we'll click on OK. And then we want to change the color to something else. So we're going to change it to this. And we'll have it there nicely. And we'll click OK. 
so now that we have it there we want to make another duplicate for this so with that selected we'll click on copy and we'll have a duplicate there so we head on to our layers panel here and we want to select the two layers that we have on top and we'll bring it below so we'll bring them below so that the blue layer is on top of the other layers so we have it there nice and good so we we'll just select this a bit and we'll make a little adjustment by using this arrow key here adjust it and then we'll select this and we'll adjust it as well so guys we have a nice blend there so we'll just select the layer up here and we'll reduce the opacity a little bit because we want the image on our background to show a little bit so we'll just reduce the opacity this way reduce the opacity this way i'll take it up like this and we have it there nicely so we'll click on ok so what we want to do is to head on to the layers panel here and we'll lock all of this so that we have them in place and they don't move when we are creating our designs so now that we have it there we want to bring in our main subject which is the pastor so we head on to the plus icon here and then we head on to the gallery and we'll locate the image of the pastor that we have there so we have this here and we want to flip the pastor to face our right hand side so you click on this flip option here and we check so we have it there nicely we'll just scale it up a little bit and we'll position it somewhere around here nicely so with that being done we want to make a little adjustment to this image so we'll come here to color filter and we'll reduce the hue a little bit and then we'll reduce the saturation a little bit as well and then we'll increase the brightness a little bit so that we enhance the quality of our image so we have it there nicely have it there nicely and then we'll just increase the contrast a little bit let's increase it to five and we'll click ok so now that we have our subject there we are going to import other things i will be adding the lens flare so we'll head on to the plus icon here and we'll head on to our gallery and we're going to be locating the lens flare so we'll add it to the background now the lens flare is a shiny um it's a shiny effect that we used mostly on church flyers so we'll just add this there to give us a kind of an effect there so we have our lens flare here so we'll click on ok and then we'll position it over here and we'll just scale it a little bit place it over here and then we'll take it behind our subject so we'll select our layer and we'll select this and we'll bring it down and then with that selected we'll head on to the rotate option and then we we'll want to rotate it a little bit this way and we'll have it there nicely so we'll lock our subject and then we'll be able to work on this lens flare so we'll position it somewhere around here and then we'll reduce the opacity of this lens flare so we'll reduce the opacity a bit all the way down to 85 pixels and we'll click ok and we'll position it somewhere here head on to the layers of panel here and we'll lock this layer so that we have it in place so now that we have it there so we'll head on to the layers panel here and we'll select one of this and then we'll make a copy now that we have it there we're going to reduce the size because we want to make an effect on this on our subject so we'll just select this and we'll rotate it this way we'll just rotate it and ensure that it's straight so we'll place it here nicely because we want this effect to reflect on our subject there so now that we have the shape there we want to use the erase tool to erase part of this shape to give our image a nice blend so we'll just erase this part this way 
and we have it there nicely so we'll click on ok so we have it there nice and good so we head on to the layers panel and we'll also lock this so that we have it in place so the next thing we want to do is to add other elements like to add the um, title of the church we're designing for so we'll head on to the plus icon and then we'll head on to text and we'll add the title and the title of this church is we'll just give it a name let's say flames international ministries so this is just fictional not a real church so we'll click on ok so we'll just drag this all the way and we're going to change the color from what we have there to a white color and we'll have it there nicely so we want to change this font and the font we'll be using for this text is the acrobat bold so we have it there and we'll click on ok and we'll head on to size want to reduce the size all the way to 20 pixels and we'll click on ok and we want to increase the spacing in between the letters so we we'll increase it all the way to 12 pixels and we have it there nicely and we'll click ok so we'll take it up and we'll position it somewhere around here nicely we have it there we'll position it over there so the next thing we want to type is the present text so we'll just type this present so we'll click on ok and we'll head on to color and we'll be changing this to the default yellow on pixel lab here so we have the yellow color here and we'll click on ok and we'll head on to fonts and we're going to change this font here so we we'll change it to this font called tuesday night so we have it there so all we want to do is to increase the padding on the left hand side and we'll increase the padding on the right hand side and we have the text there nicely i want to head on to size and we'll reduce the size all the way to 24 pixels and we have it there nicely so we'll just position it somewhere here and we have it there nicely so we increase the letter spacing to let's say 4 pixels and we'll click on ok so the next thing we want to do is to position this nicely and we have it there positioned so next up we want to import the church um, logo so we'll head on to the plus icon and to our gallery and we have the church logo on our device here so we we'll just locate it just locate it So we have it over here and we'll just place it so we'll just scale it all the way down scale it this way and we'll just try to position it up there So we have that position so um for readability sake we're going to be changing the color to a white color because we want it to pop up so we just position it there and we'll change the color to white so we have it there nicely so the next thing we want to do is to head onto the layers panel there and we'll lock this so that we have it in place so the theme for this um, program is nights of prayers so we we'll head on to the plus icon here 
and we will type our text we'll be having um the text prayer we'll type prayer and we'll click on ok and we'll head on to the text option and we'll change the font that we have there to a font that i installed and the name of this font is impact and we have it there and we'll click ok so we'll change the color of this font from what we have there to a white color for readability so we'll be able to see what we are working with so we have it there and we'll head on to size and we'll increase the size all the way to about 120 pixels and we have it there nicely so we'll check and we'll head on to the text option here and we'll reduce the letter spacing because we don't want the space in between the letters to be too much so we'll just reduce it and we'll click on ok so now that we have it there we're going to make a duplicate of that by clicking on copy and we have a copy there so with this selected let's change the color of this so that we'll see what we're working on so we'll just give it a texture so with this selected and with the text option selected here we we'll head on to texture and we'll select a texture we'll be given this um text so we have this background texture here and we'll apply it on our design so we'll head on back to texture again and we'll make a little adjustment we'll enable the aspect ratio and then we'll increase the skill all the way to 100 and we'll click ok so now that we have it there we'll head on to our relative positioning option and we'll click it position to the center vertically and horizontally and we'll click on ok so we'll select this um, text as well head on to size and then we'll increase it by three pixels and we'll increase it to 23 we'll click on ok so now that we have our text here we are going to position it to the center vertically and horizontally as well but before that we'll reduce the opacity all the way down to let's say um, 50 pixels or let's leave it around 60 pixels and we have it there nicely so we'll head on to our we'll head on to our relative positioning option here vertically we'll position it to the center and vertically horizontally to the center as well so we'll also select it and we'll make another copy again by clicking on copy and we'll increase the size again by three so we'll add it to 26 pixels we'll click on ok and then we'll position it vertically to the center horizontally to the center as well and this time around we'll send it behind the text that we have there so we're trying to create an effect behind our text so now that we have that effect there we're going to head on to our layers panel and then we're going to match these two together so we'll just select this select this here and we'll select these two together and we'll match them together and we have them matched nicely together so the reason why we match this is to create an emboss effect and without matching this we're going to have some kind of messy effect there so we'll click on emboss and we'll enable it and we'll play around with it let's just reduce the bevel level reduce it all the way down this way to 25 let's reduce this a little bit to 23 and then the ambience reduce it all the way to 70 and then intensity reduce it all the way to 80 and we have it there nicely so we just change the angle a little bit to 60 and we'll click on ok so we have our effect nicely there so we'll head on to our layer there and then we're going to select the two and we'll match them together 
so we'll just match this together so that it doesn't move when we're creating other things so we'll just position this nicely here and then we'll, we'll select our subject and we'll shift our subject in we'll just shift it backward a little bit we have it there nicely so what we want to do is to type the next text which is night night off so we head on the plus icon and text and we'll type it there the first n is capital letter so we have night off so we'll click ok and we want to head on to color and we'll change the color from here from what we have there to a white color click ok and we'll head on to font and we're going to be changing the font we're using here to a font called i think um cynthia o so we have it there nicely and we'll click ok so the size for this text is going to be is going to be let's leave it at 37 and we'll check so we we'll just drag it all the way up and we'll position it somewhere here and we have it there nicely so we're going to make a little adjustment to this text as well let's bring it closer to the subject click ok and just bring this down this way so with that um text selected we're going to give it a shadow effect so that it pops up really nice we'll just select it and we'll head on to shadow here and we're going to give it a shadow enable it and the color of our shadow is going to be black change the color to black and then we we'll reduce the radius all the way to two pixels and we'll click ok so we have it there nicely so the next thing we're going to be adding is the streaming live option because we're going to be streaming this program live so we want to add it to indicate on the flyer so we'll just select this text that we have here and we'll make a copy bring it all the way down and we'll edit it so we'll just type streaming so we have streaming and then click ok and we'll reduce the spacing in between the text a little bit we'll reduce the spacing in between the in between the letters a little bit so we we'll just reduce this to 10 we'll click on ok and we'll reduce the size as well to 18 pixels and we have it there nicely so we'll just drag it all the way and we'll position it somewhere around here for now and we'll make a copy of that and then we'll bring it down and we're going to type live because it's going to be a live event and we'll click ok so the next up we want to now position this text together but before we do that we'll change the color of that from what we have there to a red color we'll just change it to a red color and we'll click ok so we use the relative positioning tool and we'll position it vertically to the center horizontally to the center and we'll also select this vertically to the center and horizontally to the center as well so we'll head on to the panel here and then we'll select the live text and then we'll use this positioning tool to position it properly away from the main text that we have there and we'll click on ok so we head on to the zoom option here and want to zoom in because it's small and want to really see what we're working with so we'll click on ok so we're adding a shape behind this text so that it makes it pops up very well so we'll just select this shape and we'll reduce it all the way down reduce it all the way down this way reduce it all the way down this way all the way down all the way down and we'll check and we'll just position it here I will select our text here and we'll click on to front because we want it to come on top of this and then select our zoom option and then we'll zoom in a little bit so we'll just try to position this like this we'll have it there this way 
I'll reduce this so reduce this and then let's position this nicely so the next thing we want to do is to remove the excess part of the ship so with that selected we just simply select the max out to n we just max out the part that we don't want so we just ensure that it is straight and looking okay so we have it and then we'll max out we'll enable the max and we'll max it out and we'll click ok so we have the max so we'll just select the shape and then we'll try to position it properly before we merge it together reduce it and so we ensure it is centralized so we have it there nicely and then we'll match the two together so we'll just match this and this together and we'll click okay so we have them matched together so the next text we'll be adding is the on so we'll select this text and i will make a copy and we'll type on because we'll be streaming on an online platform so we'll just select this and we'll align it to the center select this and also align it to the center as well so select this text again and we'll align it at the center vertically and horizontally so we'll head on to our positioning tool and we'll decide to shift this so that it goes away from our text so we'll select this and we'll shift it as well now that we have it head on to the layers option here and we're going to match this this and this together so we'll match them because we don't want them to move when we're creating our design so we'll go back to the zoom tool and we'll zoom out zoom out and we have it there we'll click on it again and we'll be able to move our, our text so we'll move it there so now that we have it there we want to add a small line effect on that text there so we'll just select the shape and then we'll add this effect there so we have it there and we'll click ok and we have it there nicely so we'll just select this and move it away from the line and we have it there nice and good so the next thing we want to add is to add the facebook link and the youtube link we'll be using so head on to the plus icon and then to gallery and then we're going to locate the icons for this social handles there so we're going to start with the facebook and we have it here click ok and we'll just scale this down just scale this down this way and we're going to change the color to a white color so we have it there nicely i will drag it all the way and we'll position it somewhere around here I'll resize it a little bit head on to the plus icon again and we'll add the YouTube icon and we have it there nicely so we we'll just remove these excesses click on OK and then we'll resize this as well 
so we have this there nicely so we're going to try to position it somewhere around here so we have it here so we'll change the color of this to a white color as well because we just want it to pop up real nice so we have it there as well so the next thing we want to do is to add the is to add the text or the URL so we have this here and we'll type the URL let's type facebook.com forward slash and we're going to say FIM and we'll click OK and we're going to reduce the size all the way to 16 we'll click OK and we'll just position this around here position this around here let's reduce it to 15 position this around here and we'll also make a copy of that text again we'll just bring it over here and we're going to be typing the YouTube channel so we have flames international ministries and we just click OK and we have it there so we'll position this as well so we'll just make this adjustment so have to take your time to ensure that this is positioned properly so we have it there nicely and it's looking all that nice so the next one we want to add is to add the uh, date and also we'll be adding the time for this event so we'll head on to the plus icon and we'll type our, our date type our date which is 23rd and we have October 20 23 since 22 so we have it there nicely so we'll just align this to the center and We'll also be changing the font from what we have there to this font Acrobat Acrobat Bold. So we'll click on OK and we'll change the color from what we have there to a white color and we have it there nicely. So we're going to head on to style here and we'll make it italic and we'll leave it there and then we'll reduce the spacing in between the letters and we'll reduce the spacing in between the words as well so we have it there nicely we'll leave it that way for now so the next thing we want to do is head on to the plus icon and we're going to be adding a shape and we'll just scale this down like this and then we're going to remove the fill color and we're going to give it a stroke we're going to give it a stroke of four pixels and we'll click on ok so now that we have this here we're going to align it to the center vertically and we'll also align it to the center horizontally so we'll make a copy of it again and we'll align it vertically and horizontally to the center head on to the layers panel click this option here and we're going to match these two together so you will see the reason why we decide to match these two together shortly so now that we have it match we want to give this a texture so we we'll head on to texture here and I will select a texture that we had that we had to use earlier so we we'll just select this click on OK and then head on to texture again we'll enable it 
and then we'll increase the scale and we'll click OK. So we have this there nicely. So we'll just position this here. I will scale it down. I will bring it all the way here. Position it here. So now that we have it there, we're going to bring our text here and we'll just scale it a little bit and we'll just position it over over here this way I'll just try to position it over here this way and we have it there nicely so we're going to um, make an effect on this so just select the max tool here and we'll make this effect here nicely Just make this effect on this. Let's use the zoom tool so that we can zoom in a little bit and see what we're working on. So we have it there nicely. So we'll just zoom out and then we'll just try to position we'll just try to position this somewhere here. I'll we'll also make a copy as well. I will position it over here as well. So we'll just take this text up. Then we have this here. Have this here as well. So we'll make a copy of this text and then we're going to type the time which is 10 p.m. prompt and we'll click on OK. So now that we have it there, we'll just try to create an alignment between this and this. Just place this here. So we use this position tool here to be able to make adjustments to the position of our elements. Select this as well and then we'll bring it here. And we'll make adjustments to this as well. We have that there looking so nice so we just make a little adjustment to this again because guys you have to keep making adjustment till you have what you're actually looking for so we just make a little adjustment to this again So we have it there nicely. So adjust this as well. Select this, adjust it, and we'll also select this and we'll adjust it and we'll select this as well and we'll adjust it. So now the next thing we want to do is to select a uh, um, our guide here and then we want to ensure that this is properly aligned so we'll position this here so as you can see the other sh um, sh shape that we have there is not properly aligned so we'll just select it and then we'll try to align it properly by using the um, positioning tool or I will call it the move tool so we'll just move it we'll select this and we'll also move it as well so we'll 
click back and we'll have a view and as you can see guys this is properly aligned and it is neatly positioned so we have it there nicely so the next thing we want to add is to add the pastor's name so we'll head on to the plus icon here and we'll head on to text and we'll double click and then we'll erase what we have there and we'll type pastor wilson we have it there and we'll click on ok so we want to head on to color here we'll change the color to the yellow color that we've used before which is the default color on pixel up here so we're going to change it to this yellow color and we'll click on ok and we're going to change the font to a font that i have installed here okay we're going to use better saturday for this so we'll click on ok and then we'll go to size and we're going to resize this all the way to 30 and we have it there nicely and we'll just bring it over here this way and we have it there nice and good so guys now that you're done with your design because we're actually done with our design as you can see our design is looking all that nice so now that you're actually done with your design you want to save your file so you head on to the save option here and you save as project first so you save it as let's say design with excellent church flyer church flyer and we'll click on ok and then we'll save it as an image so you head on to the save option again and you save as image now you're saving as image you want your design to have quality as much as possible so you head on to this custom dimensions here and you select the ultra because this is the highest quality you can get on pixel lab and then you save it to your gallery wow we have our image saved and as you can see our image and our design is looking all that nice so guys you might be imagining the shiny stuff that we have on our image that is created using a separate app and we're going to include that in the course so guys thanks for staying put on this episode and i'll see you in the next one